All right, what's up, everybody? So today I'm finally, finally going to be doing a video on my sensitivity, and I'm going to give you every tip and trick I know of up to this point on how I keep my aim the best it can be and how you can too. First off, the most asked question on every single video, go to any comment section. This is what's asked, my sensitivity. All right, 4100, 5.5. Five. Now, it's very helpful to have your vertical sensitivity lower than your horizontal. It just helps with the control of looking up and down on a controller. You know, you only got your thumb. And also recoil control. ADS sensitivity. 49, 81, 82, 82. Now, these all match up to my old sense, which used to be 70 ADS before Shadow Legacy. And let me show you how I got to these numbers. Now, this right here is the Shadow Legacy ADS calculator that came out with Shadow Legacy. All you're going to do is plug in your old sensitivity, which for me it was 70, and now they added the FOV, which is 84, and it gives you the sensitivity that will correspond for each uh, new scope to make it feel like your old ADS, which is 70. Now, me personally, I like every scope to feel the same, so this is what I did to achieve that. Being on a higher sensitivity like mine, I use a control freak, which for me, uh, great, not greatly, but it definitely helped with the uh, control to give you that wider range of motion, higher stick. And uh, I've been using Control Freaks Infernos, which are these red ones, for about two years now. And this is only my second pair. They last pretty long for a $20 piece of rubber. People have also asked me if they should play head touch only. Uh, personally, I don't. I think it's unrealistic. You shouldn't have to force yourself to hit heads. You should be always aiming head level, of course. But in a T hunt, you're not perfect. In a real game, you're not perfect. So just prioritize landing as many shots as possible as fast as possible. Another frequently asked question I just realized is what's my crouch button? I crouch with the uh, L1 right here. I think it's LB on Xbox. And all you have to do to change this on PlayStation at least is go to. Oh, fuck, how do you change it? Oh, yeah, go to accessibility, go to controller, go to custom button assignments, boom, you just change it. Now it's good because uh, if, you, if you crouch with B, you're gonna have to take your thumb off your stick, or you have to play claw, which is just hella uncomfortable. So I just like to crouch with this right here. Back when I actually used to sweat my ass off on this game, there were three main ways I used to play T Hunt. And the first way is usually right when I first got on the game, I was not warmed up whatsoever. This is what I do. I would walk around ADS to everywhere to get a feel for my sense. Cutting corners, quick beacon, everything. I would stay ADS all the time just to get a feel and warm up on my sensitivity. And it was actually pretty helpful to like get used to my sense at first when I first woke up because you know, you just go to sleep, wake up, play siege. That's, that's life for uh, most R6 champions. Just walk around ADS, beacon everything. Not AD, un -ADSing. My, my sense is high enough to just be able to do 360s, do 180s really fast. So yeah, this is something I used to do when I first warmed up. I would do it like one or two T-hunts. Now the next step, I would work on my flicks. So it, you know, everything's pretty easy. It's just all practice. There's no secret to getting good aim on this game. I would aim off center and then I would flick. Like, you just ignore crosshair placement, you just aim off. And then when you see the enemy, you flick. Aim off, flick. Aim off, flick. As you can see, I've gotten pretty good at it. And I'll do this for one or two T-Hunts. Now, once I feel comfortable with my flicks and I feel like it's as accurate as I could possibly get them for the day, I would then play T-Hunt and act as if it's a real game. So that means moving as if it's uh, you're playing real players in a real gunfight in a real ranked match. So that means quick peeking. Moving as if you're playing real players. Just taking it as if it's a real gunfight. Now this gets you game ready. The first two are mainly to just work on your feel for the game, but this gets you game ready. And as you can see, I do like to strafe right and left once I get a gunfight. Like, I strafe right until I see him, and then I go back left. Strafe right. Okay, give me another one. Okay. Strafe right once I see him, go back left. Sometimes they'll do a shimmy. I just want to make as much movement as possible while having the best aim as possible to just win more gunfights. 
because they have to trace you, and most controller players are pretty shit at tracing. So if you're better than them at tracing and your movement is on point, you're gonna win most of your gunfights. Also, when I take gunfights, I almost always crouch the second I get into a gunfight. Just it's just a habit I formed. It's just it's basically routine at this point. Very rarely do I swing standing up shooting unless they're just like not looking at me. And even when they aren't looking at me, I still crouch. And now it is helpful because, for one, they have to like, when you're fighting an enemy, they have to trace your head down. Just a little bit, so it just makes them harder to kill you. Another thing is recoil control. Uh, say you have shit recoil control. When you're aiming head level, trying to recoil control, and you crouch, you know, it's just it's still bouncing a little bit. It's another thing it helps with, but also is something that I do as a controller player. Yeah, let me let me get some enemies really quick. But I always aim head level as all you guys should. Come on, give me an enemy really quick. Give me an enemy really quick. Alright, here we go. I always aim at head level as you guys should. But the second you get a gunfight, I crouch and I start hitting body. Because you know you're on controller, you can't always just trace their head like a fucking mouser can. So you gotta compromise. So I always aim with head level. I try to hit a head first, but if I can't, I'm not gonna try to focus on their head. I just go to the body where it's easy. And crouching helps me do that. Let's say I miss their head, I crouch and I aim to their, their chest, their torso, then just the midsection, just to get some shots down. You just want to hit as many shots as possible, as fast as possible, because not everybody's perfect. So if you miss your head, go for the torso, go for the body. Don't try to waste your time trying to trace their head. Like it may be easy to hunt, but you, everybody knows when you get into a game, it's just totally different. <laughs> Another thing, I also kind of get accused of cronish or recoil scripts regularly, and I don't really understand. It's, it's really, there's no trick to it, you just gotta pull down. That's all you have to do. And I have a bit of a higher sense, and the higher sense you have, the easier it is to control recoil, but it's just pulling down and learning the pattern. I don't even have that crazy good recoil, so I don't know why people call me cronish. You have to, I have to really focus to get that perfect fucking beam. Yeah, just pull down. See what I'm doing, guys? See my thumb? See how it's going down? Just pull down. Please stop asking me about recoil control, bro. There's no, there's no tips or tricks. I highly recommend you guys do not use my sense, right? There have been people that use my sense before, and they say they struggle a lot, obviously. Let me put this in perspective. I've been playing 70 ADS, 4170 ADS since Shifting Tides. All right? That is about two years, ten seasons, on the same sense, playing only this game. I didn't play any other game besides when Fortnite came out, which was like fucking ages ago. This is my main game for the last, since, um, what was it? This has been my main game since Phantom Sight. There we go. That's, dude, I couldn't even remember the name of it. It's been so long ago. My main game since Phantom Sight, the only game I play, the only game I enjoy, the one, only one I play competitive. Playing on the same sense for 10 seasons. And also playing T hunts 20 to 30 minutes a day. Nowadays it's like 15 minutes, I don't care too much. Yeah, just keep that in mind. I've been playing this game for that long on this sense, and that's how I achieve this aim. What else can I answer? It's another question I always get. Um. I honestly don't know. I think that might be the end of the video. Uh, if any questions, comments, concerns below, I'll probably make a part two to this because I know I missed some shit. But yeah, it's bas this is basically all I do is just play T Hunt and left. stick to the same sense. Find a sense you like and stick to it. If you're having a bad day aiming, you're just having a bad day. It doesn't mean your sense is bad. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, peace out. I'm gonna finish out this T Hunt for those I want to watch. 30 seconds remaining in active. Yeah, it's so fun. I'm like a weirdo. People say, Oh, how do you shoot a team so much? It's just so boring. Like, look how cracked I feel. Shitting on everyone. Oh, not that guy. I got pissed on. Alright, peace out, guys.